Do you recall Captain America, the Marvel character who defeated death, awoke after 70 years, and endured being frozen the entire time? What if I told you that this may actually occur in real life? Adding that co-founder of PayPal Peter Thiel has also signed up for something similar. Why would he do that and what is the point of this? Revealing in our upcoming report. Is it possible to overcome mortality, the knowledge that we will eventually pass away? We are only human because of the expiration date on our life. What if there was a method to defeat death, though? What if we could apply what Captain America does to our everyday lives? It is known as cryogenic preservation. What does it actually mean? What does it have to do with Peter Thiel, a co-founder of PayPal? Cryogenic freezing is a procedure done on deceased people. An individual must register for this process ahead of time in order for it to be completed. It is a kind of low temperature freezing done by a medical team that uses ice water to store the body's organic remains. The dead body is then placed on a machine that resembles a heart-lung bypass and oxygenated using masks. This keeps the blood flowing and maintains oxygen levels. A solution is injected into the corpse, and it effectively acts as antifreeze. To prevent body tissues from freezing into ice crystals, this is done, such that structural damage is kept to a minimal. The body is then placed in a chamber filled with liquid nitrogen that has been chilled to minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. The body is moved to a liquid nitrogen-filled athermos-like tank once it is sufficiently chilled, where it will remain for the near future. What occurs next is that these corpses remain in these tanks until medical science may resurrect them. Billionaire and PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel is one among individuals who have agreed to participate in this process. When asked if he had agreed to be cryogenically preserved after his death, Thiel said, yes, but I think of it more as an ideological statement. I'm not necessarily counting on it to succeed. However, I believe that is something we should endeavor to accomplish. The average cost of this technology is about $20,000 per individual. But why is Peter Thiel doubtful about its performance after paying such a big sum? This technology is unique in that it is still being developed. There are three main obstacles that it must overcome. First, it must fix the damage caused by freezing. Second, there is additional pressure to treat the condition that caused the subject's death. And third, it must stop the aging process, for the purpose of the subject's young, healthy body. Isn't that challenging? Not just Thiel is placing significant bets on life extension technologies. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has spent $180 million in a project that seeks to add 10 years to the average human lifetime through quick advances in AI. With more and more individuals signing up for life extension technology, the threat of AI eradicating humanity is growing, whether the human desire of immortality will come true.